Hello, I'm Matt Wallace, and today I'd like to provide an update on our Reconciliation Action Plan in Australia. But firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the custodians of the land and waters where our operations take place, and recognise the continuing responsibilities to care for country at these sites. In 2019, we launched our Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan and laid some strong foundations as we started our reconciliation journey. Among the many things we've done include inviting traditional owners to perform a welcome to country in our Australian offices and raised awareness of the connection they have to country. We provided vacation employment for two Aboriginal students through an organisation called Career Trackers. We sponsored a student to attend the Year 12 Summit during NAIDOC week in Sydney, where she learned valuable skills and developed connections for her university studies. We modified our supplier approval process to make it easier to identify Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander enterprises and we develop cultural competency training that will be rolled out in 2020. But today I'm pleased to be launching the next level of our Reconciliation Action Plan, which has been approved by Reconciliation Australia to guide our efforts through to 2022. Now, we chose to launch our new wrap during National Reconciliation Week, which is an important time of the year when we remember two significant events for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The first is the May 1967 referendum that allowed Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders to be counted in the census. And the second is the famous Mabo High Court decision in June 1992, which formally recognised Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the original inhabitants of the land we call Australia today. Now, I could give you my view on reconciliation, but I figured it'd be better to hear from Alf Priestley, an elder from the Camilleroy people in New South Wales, to explain what reconciliation means to him. Like, like yourself, Matt, you know, you, you've got something that I need to learn, well, I need to learn it from you. And, I've got something that's culturally that you need to learn, you need to learn it from me. And that, that exchange of culture is, is some of the foundations of, of, of reconciliation. It sets a platform of understanding, first and foremost, without, even, without the common of talk. I don't look at reconciliation as anything that's divisive. I think the world has been reconciling from the time that they can move. At a time of travel. People look now that everyone's got different traces of different races within their DNA structures as we all speak today. So I think reconciliation, the form of what I think it is, has been happening for a, a long time. Our Innovate Wrap provides a pathway towards reconciliation, and I look forward to your participation on this journey.